Tim Bingham of Delta Derivatives joins us now for the Trader Rundown. How's your week going? Uh, about <laughs> as well as the market is going. You know, certainly off to a rocky start on Monday uh, for the market. Uh, finding some footing here after that huge sell-off, worst sell-off in two years. But, you know, volatility begets opportunity, in my opinion. So those stocks that I thought were a little ahead of themselves a couple weeks ago, the Microsofts and Apples of the world, have come down sharply. I'm looking to position to be a buyer at slightly lower levels, uh, given the fact that uh, volatility has jumped up as well. Right, so when you say slightly lower levels, what are you looking for in Apple and a Microsoft or any other tech names out there that you follow? Yeah, absolutely. So I like to look at the chart and I like to use what's called a standard deviation. So for example, on Apple, looking at that 275 level out in March, selling that put, buying the 270 foot for protection, getting about 70 cents net credit on that, be a willing buyer if Apple gets down that 275 level. If not, I collect some nice premium. The fact that the VIX jumped up over 25 means option prices shot up. So I like to sell options in this environment and be a buyer on further dips. Don't be aggressive up here. I think we could maybe even head a little bit lower, but certainly if we have another drop like we have over the past week, I'd be a buyer then. Right, so the stocks might be put to you with those trades, but that's a good thought for you because you don't mind holding an Apple or Microsoft long term. Those, by the way, have been very popular stocks. Everybody wants to own those, it feels like. Yeah, absolutely. And I can own these at even lower levels that they're trading on here and much lower levels than last week. I like the fact that the yields on these, if they do drop further, will be much higher than the 10 year yield, which just hit a historic low here. So, kind of like it on all fronts. I'm not going to be aggressive here. I think, you know, the market could even head lower given the frothiness we saw. But if it does drop another, uh, you know, five or six percent, then I get interested. This kind of trade structure sets up ideally for that. Well, that was my next question for you. How serious is the market action in your mind right now, in your trader mind? Is it something where you are looking for another down move? I think, you know, if we don't get a decent rally over the next several days, we could see some more selling. Certainly, I think leverage got a little bit overdone as everyone was chasing momentum. We saw that ring out over the past week or so. But if the market doesn't rally, I think we might see another leg lower as those recent buyers probably give up on the bounce here. That's the opportunity I'll look to jump in with. If not, I'm getting paid to wait here by collecting some nice option premium. We will be watching too. Thanks so much for that you trader anytime, signal. Man. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.